the Oculus Rift. This is a leap motion controller. And a leap motion controller means I can see my hands and my hands can interact with 3D scene, like so. I can push the boxes, like so. And there's some boxes here and they fall over and they're gone. Some boxes behind me, they fall over and they're gone. And there's a few boxes in front of me that I can also push over. Well, we'll push these over as well. Whoa, there they go. I'm gonna show you how you can build this. And to do that, you use the Unreal Engine 4.12, which you can download for free. You can use Unreal Engine Editor. There's a tutorial on how to do this, which you can access through the Unreal site, but it's quite complicated to follow. I'm just gonna show you how you do this step by step. First off, create a blank project, blueprint, create project. Uh, there is a, a default scene there. I'm just going to remove quite a few of these objects because I don't really need them. That one, that and that. I need the light. I need, that's the controller or the player. Okay, next step, edit, plugins input devices leap motion plugin enabled and restart now cool that's done i can close that window now the virtual reality headset is enabled by default so there's a vr preview option there which we can use later don't have to worry about that but to get the leap motion to work it's a bit more tricky do that Press Add New, Blueprint Class, Game Mode, there we go, down there, now double click that. Down here in Classes, you've got to select, for this example, Leap Floating Hands Character. There are several other examples you can use which are, do different things. Okay, now to compile, and that's done. I can close that window. I can now select my character uh, object. I find that easier this way in this view. There it is there. Down here in the world settings view. If you don't have the world settings view, which I don't think you do by default. To, to, to show it, you, you press Window, World Settings. There it is, and it appears again. In here, select Game Mode as being a new blueprint, which we created a few seconds ago. That is now enough to preview that in virtual reality with the Leap Motion Controller. Let's have a look. First I have to just confirm on the VR, there's my hand. And I can move around and look and there's nothing to touch yet, but you can see my fingers, my hands. I can move them individually. Very good. Stop that now to now to create that interaction with the boxes. That wasn't so complicated. I'll just zoom out a little bit here and look at the scene in that view, top-down view. Just grab a cube, paste it in, and move it very close to move it very close to my little character here. Now find it best when it's right next to it. Not just not touching, but just about. Now for the cube, 
I'll select its details and just choose to have its physics on. That means it's now a box that will that will drop in space, drop down to the ground. I can press Control C and Control V to copy and paste a few. Now I'm just replace place another one on top of it. I'm going to place place another one on top of that one another one on top of that one and another one on top of that one and another one on top of that one and that is a very basic demonstration which I'll preview for you now and that's there the boxes I just placed and here's my hand here's another hand and I'm just gonna push it push it over Mm. There we go. Yep, and you can make that yourself. 